What's up guys and welcome to another video. Today's video is very special. I'm out in Hackberry, Louisiana again and uh, I'm gonna be doing a little fishing at the end of a canal off the bank with my wife. We've got some dead shrimp. I'm gonna throw the cast net for some live bait and uh, yeah, hopefully we can catch um, just something good to eat. Maybe we can catch some flounder, maybe trout, maybe some reds, who knows? So we're gonna go ahead, um, get started, get a line in the water and have a great time. All right guys, well here's Caroline. In all her glory, we we're gonna try and catch some fish. So Carolyn's gonna just throw a jig head. And we got some shrimp. They were uh, a little more appetizing yesterday, but we're gonna kind of just uh, put them on this jig head. She's gonna hop it along the bottom like it's a lure. It should get bit. Oh, got the first cat of the day. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem with the dead shrimp, but you know you can catch flounder and stuff occasionally. So we're gonna we're gonna figure something out here. All right, Caroline is tired of catching cats, so we're gonna switch her to a chartreuse-colored, curly-tailed uh, gulp swimming minnow, and maybe she can catch a flounder or something hopping it along the bottom. There you go, have Adam. Oh, we're gonna need that net, don't you worry. Running old, stanky dead, shrimp up on here. Okay, I'm just gonna throw them out from the rocks and see if anything wants to bite out there. You might catch a flounder if you throw it down the seawall and hop it back because this should be kind of flat, shallow, and there might be some hanging around. <sighs> yeah, get it, get it, get it. Flounder, flip him on the bank, flip him on the bank. Yeah, baby! What'd I tell you? Dang, girl! Girl! Get your flounder. I'll get your flounder. So I watch my bait. It's a slimy boy. Look at that flatty. Caroline, on the go. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm getting it. I got fish. Oh, he got one. No. Dang, that makes me want to put on a gulp. Okay, that's a that's a keeper. There's not a. Get you a. Not a size. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh, I don't have my phone. Yeah, let's go. Yes, sir. We're eating good. Yeah, oh, oh, crap. Okay, okay, you got a tank, Caroline. Keep pressure. Okay, I think you got a red. Where's he at? Oh, oh, oh. Big flounder. Holy crap. Big flounder. Yeah, get your rod tip over there. Oh my gosh, okay. Baby. Oh. 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 <laughs> Dude, <laughs> let's go. I've never seen a flounder peel. Oh. Line just broke from me pulling him out of there. Let's go. Ah. That's how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> how big is that? Oh. I thought I was hung. <laughs> he said, I'm hung, and I was like, <laughs> Always assume it's a fish. Let's well, he he just claimed your jig head. Nice. Oh my, he's slippery. Small. Oh god. <laughs> nice. All right, put your buddy. Back yeah, let's release Catch him. Catch and release. Yeah. Yeah. Big flounder. I'm throwing out there. Again. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> All right, well, I re raked Caroline and now I'm putting my gulp swimming mullet on a jig head on my rod and hopefully we can catch something here, guys. Might have figured something out. Just gonna hop him along the bottom.
Okay, okay. Okay. Whoa, that's a big kitty. What the? Okay, well. What the junk? Catfish. Don't know if the camera was running or not because it died, but my mom caught another uh, nice big flounder on a red curly tailed gulp. So we got three in the box now. I'm kind of holding on to hope that I can catch something on a dead shrimp that's worth something. I guess I'm hoping for like a big drum or something out here, but I probably need to join the, the gulp gang. But I don't know. I like fishing the shrimp on the bottom. It's very relaxing and fun for me. I'll go ahead and start recording since something insane is about to happen. We're all rigged up with gulp for flounder. That's how it's been is like you catch one in a spot and then like 20 minutes later you catch one in a different spot. Ooh, Caroline, what you got? Ooh, big flounder. Holy crap. Uh, I'll, he's big, big. Hold on. Okay. Ooh, that's a huge flounder. Gosh, this is about to be dumb. We really should net it, but we got braids, so... Oh, he's going to slice me. That's a big one. Look at you. No, I tried to... Grab this. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Oh no, I think we're gonna add an angle from the outlet. Yeah. Okay, that's where they're supposed to be. Goodness. Nice one, Caroline. Okay, you're rigged up. I'll go put him in the uh, ice chest. That might be the biggest one. Mm -hmm. Golly. Smacking the flounder, huh? Big boy. Guess I'll grab the net while I'm down there. <laughs> Look at that, dude. Big guy. Doormat. Get the net. The next time, looks like there's a little something happening. I like the gulp, y'all. Really? Thought I had a fish finally. All right, guys, well, we took a little lunch break, but we're back now. Caroline is flinging around a gulp, uh, swimming mullet like we have been. I'm going to throw out to start a little bitty uh, croaker on a cork, and I've got some live mullet as well. The mullet are a little big, but this croaker is a nice little size here. Should be a good little appetizer for a hungry... Uh, flounder or something i don't know but i think i might just kind of like let him run around and do his thing and maybe drag a gulp around while this guy's swimming don't know yeah oh my god <gasps> hey come off Got something on the croaker. Came off. That was my only croaker. No. That means I gotta put a big old. Yeah, I gotta put on a big old mullet now. Oh my gosh, something killed the croaker and. Yeah, so we're going with a live mullet now. Kind of over in that same area. I 
that goes under, we know something uh, pretty decent is messing with me out there. Uh, I don't know. Oh, that's a fish. Flip him up with the flip. Yeah, got you a flounder. First flounder of the second session. Let's go. Your tail. Do what? I know. You ain't gotta go out there. <laughs> well, we missed it on camera because it happened so fast. But this big old, well, he ain't that big, but this fat red just smoked the mullet. <sighs> oh, <laughs> shoot! He's that over. Is it. He's over sixteen. Oh yeah. Barely. Okay. All right, we got a 16 inch red. Yes, sir. Yeah. Keep her red. I keep her red. Barely. Oh, man. Yes. Man, we haven't caught a red in so long. Okay. Now, we got to reset up camp. A flounder. Flounder, man. That was a nice one. All right, guys. Well, we've taken a little break. We got some dinner. Um, it is like 5:30 now, and we're about to go back down and brave the wind. Hopefully, it doesn't rain. But yeah, I believe our haul right now is six flounder and a red. Um, might be might be five flounder in a red, but we got good eating. So I will probably fillet these up when I get back home. But yeah, we're gonna see if we can go back down. Um, probably gonna throw around the gulp, and I've got some live bait. I'm gonna throw around as well. Probably do the same thing where we have like a a live mullet out, um, and then throw gulp on the other rig. So once Caroline gets back down here, we're gonna get in the truck and go back down to the spot. Caroline, help, I got one, I got a fish. I need, I need a net, I got the weak hooks on. I need, an, I need the net, I got the weak hooks. Oh, it's a flounder. Oh my gosh. Okay, here he is, yes. Yes! Yes! Woo! Woo! Hey! I caught a flounder on a gulp. Let's go. Okay. Hey, I figured something out where you're going. Okay. So, I've been, I made a throw down here. Yeah. And on the first pass, I was reeling and there was tension. And I was like, hmm. And I started reeling and there was something on it. And it wasn't shaking. It never felt like clear signs of life but it was instead of coming straight in it was kind of going out that way so i was like what the i think i got a fish and i was like thinking about like dang i gotta tell her so i threw down again and i was doing it and i felt boom, and i went so i it was on this wall let's go flounder They're right on the wall. He's kind of a little guy. Oh yeah, down to that boat. This is. I think I'm gonna let this guy go. He's pretty tiny. Sayonara, amigo. Out a girl. Go. 
guys, check out this stud flounder. This is probably the last film or uh, bit of recording I have with the GoPro, but swallowed that uh, gulp swimming mullet again, neon color. That is a big boy filling out the net. Let's go. Whew. All right, so done fishing for the weekend. Had an awesome time, caught fish. And uh, look, at our, look at our haul here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight flounder. And uh, this one red. All the flounder were caught on gulp. So pretty exciting, we actually Caught all these fish throwing um, artificial lures, except for the redfish had a live mullet. So, you know, if this is something you want to try, I recommend getting the gulp swimming mullets. We used four inches um, just on a weighted jig head and you just kind of bounce it along the bottom. Um, keep it kind of slow. I like to keep a lot of contact with the bottom. We broke off on a lot of oysters, so be prepared by lots of jig heads, lots of plastics. We went through a lot of them um, just due to breaking off and uh, we did fish these on straight braid. So, I'm a big fan of the gulp. I'd highly recommend it. And I think you can get results similar to this if you want to go try it out. But I think it's pretty good for fishing from the bank. Um, yeah. But anyways, guys, if you like the video, um, hit the like button for me. Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. Uh, all these things just help the channel grow, help my videos get out there more. So I would appreciate it if you did any of these things for me. But with all that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.